My name is Mark Abma. I've been a professional skier for over 20 years now. And when you're on a ski resort, you've got all your mapped out runs. And then just outside of that, you've got a ski area boundary that's got a rope all the way around it. And so for me as a kid, I always wanted to know what was around the next corner, what cool line could be over there. And so that's what I did. As soon as I could find a spot where I feel like I could duck the rope without anybody seeing me, that's where I would go. I never perceived myself to be different than anybody else. But looking back on it, I was the first guy to duck the ropes, to go find new terrain, to go find deeper pow. And I would say now, later in life, I'm still kind of living that way with regards to living in this creative space and kind of living by my own rules, but in a, in a different way. And that's trying to live more sustainably and now trying to live off grid. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. Anytime you're doing something new, that can be a scary experience. I'm trying to learn what my fears are and use it as a tool to learn more about myself. It's being able to push through that veil of fear and ultimately it's in that moment where you learn something new and that's when you develop new skills. And by learning more about myself, it's allowing me to step through that fear and allow myself to be able to do more in my life. That empowerment of pushing through that fear and accomplishing your goal, that's what really empowers me and creates a memorable experience. Because sometimes when you're standing on top of line, you can't see what's below you and you're literally diving into the unknown. And sometimes that unknown is a mountain that's big enough where if I were to fall, that it could end up in serious injury or, or even worse. I think it's through that moment of pushing through that uncertainty. When you get to the bottom of the mountain and you've just succeeded what you want to do, that you get this huge hit of dopamine and sometimes that results in this overwhelming urge just to let out. Sometimes a primal scream and that can just be this uh, really powerful moment. So I first heard about veg oil through Willie Nelson driving around in his tour bus. And I just thought that was the raddest thing that you can go to a restaurant, get their old deep frying oil and throw it in your truck and hit the road. So this is where I clean the vegetable oil to fuel that truck. So I had my truck converted, put a 200 liter tank in the back of my truck. And that year I decided to drive to Alaska and put the truck to the test. There's a lot of unique skiers that are friends of mine out there. But I feel like some of the things that I'm doing, they're a little bit different than others with regards to how I'm pushing myself through running my truck on veggie oil or learning how to live off grid or trying to grow as much of my own food as possible and kind of getting into some building some unique and, and funky projects trying to live in that creative space as much as possible. And that's part of what keeps me really motivated and passionate. And I try to always intertwine my, my personal passions with my skiing. And that just uh, creates kind of a unique experience and keeps it fun for me. So Mount Garibaldi is this amazing mountain that I've been looking at for over 20 years. And it's very recognizable as it's this very pointy, prominent peak. And it's interesting that for the last 20 years, I've never even really put too much thought into skiing it. But now that I can see it from where I live, it's hard to, to ignore it. And so I've started doing some research and looking into some different options and ways that I can ski it. And now that it's on my mind, it's something that I can't get out of my mind. It's gonna be kind of an ambitious day, but it's, uh, it's one that I'm really looking forward to. Right, it's so nice.